Hello, and welcome to Real Illusion Hints and Tips. Special Effects Particles. Combining 3D blocks with particles to create custom particle props. Comet. Using particles in your scene greatly enhances the suspension of disbelief. Taking your audience as close to your imagination as possible is the idea in any performance, and your iClone projects shouldn't be an exception. With the new special effects interface, you can apply dramatic effects to anything in your scene. In this tutorial, we will apply a torch fire default particle to a default 3D block, ball underscore double zero one, and then edit its settings to create a very realistic comet complete with flaming dissipating trail. When a prop is combined with a particle system and then saved, it becomes a particle prop. These methods are achieved in 14 easy to follow steps. So let's get started. Step one, open iClone and select hotkey control plus F7 to open the character selection panel. Temporarily hide character and then click close. Go to scene, props, template, 3D blocks and choose ball underscore double zero one double click to activate. Step number two, go to modify, scroll down to find the folder icon on the toolbar under generate UV and map setting. Click import diffuse. Step three, navigate to local disk, program files, real illusion, iClone, template, iClone template, texture, iClone diffuse, 04 stone, and select stone 07. Double click or select open to apply. Step number four, scroll down and be sure the UV type is active on the box setting and make sure a line has the X coordinate selected. Then choose apply. Step number five, go to 2D background, modify, and then import. Click on the folder. Step number six, open the background image of outer space. This is retrieved from a search engine by searching keyword space. This is so you can see your particle effect better. If you do not wish to retrieve a custom image for use at this point, you can simply apply a solid black background from the same portion of the modify menu. Double click to open or select open. Step number seven, go to special effects, particle, template, scroll down to the bottom of the icon bay, locate and click on torch fire to apply to ball 001. Step number eight, go to modify and under the effect portion of the menu, locate the link to rollout menu and expand the menu by clicking on the arrow. Select ball underscore double O one. Step number nine, under the particle setting portion of the menu, locate the color section and keep the default color settings, but change the opacity to start color 88 and end color 22. Step 10. Scroll down to make sure that addition is active under the blend mode portion of the menu. Then under size, change the start width and height to 150 each. Leave end width and height set at 1. This is an important step because it will scale the particle up from its starting position to completely surround ball 001. Leave 
initial angle set at zero and change the angular velocity minimum to negative 10. Click play to see the effect in real time. Step 11. Under the emitter setting portion of the menu, change your quota and emit rate to 200 each. This is to increase the value in which your particle cycles. Under emit volume, set x at 15, y at 100, and z at 15. This should shape your particle's volume to give it its proper radius. Set spread to 4, roll to 135, and velocity to 100. And most importantly, under the forced portion of the menu, set gravity x to 0, y to 0, and z to 400. Wind settings set x to 50, y to 50, and z to 200. These settings will give your comet its trademark upside down cone shaped trail. Then click play to review your particle settings and play back in real time. Step 12. Go to custom, then either select a folder or create a new one to save your particle prop into. At the bottom, select the Add button to place into your library. Name and save your new prop. You can now easily apply animation to the prop, which will affect the particle settings in motion, or you can use an animated camera to create exciting shots around your new comet. Also, you can now just double click on your saved file to add an additional particle prop to your scene. If you have any additional questions, please contact technical support or visit www.realusion.com.